Something very strange happened with the channel last week. It crossed a thousand subscribers. What? So I just wanted to do a video to thank everyone who's taken the time to watch my videos. And especially if you've taken the time to hit that little red subscribe button. I wasn't really sure how many people out there would be interested in a channel that's mostly about what it's like to own an MV Augusta, but at least there are a thousand of you out there, so thank you. Hopefully this little channel has been kind of helpful to some people, because there's not a whole lot of MV Augusta content out there. Now a thousand subs is kind of a big milestone in the world of YouTube because you have probably been seeing ads during the course of my videos. I don't get a cut of any of that money from the ads until I cross over a thousand subscribers. So now I'll be getting a little bit of money from them, which I will definitely be putting into my motorcycle fund. So thank you again for watching. And especially if you were one of the thousand who hit that little subscribe button. So to celebrate, I'm gonna do a little giveaway on the channel. I am gonna be giving away a brand new Dainese D-Throttle backpack, because if you're like me, you can never have enough backpacks. I will ship this backpack out to you wherever you are in the world. Are you in the UK? I'll ship it to you in the UK. Are you in India? I'll ship it to you in India. Even Italy, which will be annoying because I had it shipped from there, but I will ship it back if you happen to be the winner. And the second prize is a $100 gift card to Bellissimoto. And they have everything from $1 titanium washers to $4,000 ThyssenKrupp carbon fiber wheels. They have parts for Italian and Japanese bikes. I'll put a link to their shop below so you can check it out. Of course, they ship internationally. So whatever you end up choosing, they will ship to you wherever you are in the world. You know those contests that make you jump through 50 different hoops to win? Subscribe, like, share five times, follow me on Instagram, become a Patreon. Yeah, I hate contests like that. So I'm not going to do that. While I hope one of my subscribers win, you don't even have to be a subscriber. If you just happen to have been lucky enough to stumble upon this video in the first 72 hours that this contest is live, you're eligible. You just have to do one thing. Tonight, there is a motorcycle ferry coming to give you whatever motorcycle you want, with the only stipulation is that you have to keep it. You can't turn around and sell it, or else everyone's going to say Super Legeras. What motorcycle do you choose? Please put your answer in the comment section below and I will randomly pick two winners. The first person will get their choice of prizes, the backpack or the gift card, and the second person will get the prize that the first person didn't choose. I'll leave the contest open for 72 hours from the posting of this video. I think the most comments I've ever gotten within the first 72 hours of a video are 40. So that makes your chance of winning a prize pretty good. And if you're curious what I would pick if I were in this contest, the first bike that popped in my mind was a Yamaha M1, and I would pick something from the pre-wing era. That bike looks like a weapon, and it would be a pretty incredible experience to have a MotoGP bike in your garage. But then the practical part of me kicked in for some reason, and I thought, oh, the MotoGP bikes are super high strung, and the engines only last a few hundred miles, and they are ungodly loud. If you've ever been to a MotoGP race, you know that bike would be unrideable. Any track day you think you're going to take that bike to, you're going to blow through the noise limit, undoubtedly. So then it would just basically be sitting in my living room, something for me to look at. So then I was thinking Yamaha R7. And I don't mean that totally tame, watered-down version that they just came out with. No, I mean the totally bananas World Superbike that almost won the World Superbike Championship way back when. That would be pretty epic to have one of those bikes. Then I thought, mm, that bike is 20 years old at this point. Maybe something a little more modern. So finally, the bike I decided on was the new Ducati electric metal e-bike. That bike looks to be state-of-the-art as far as electric motorcycles go. And I think it looks pretty awesome. It looks deadly. In a good way. So I think that would be my choice. Obviously, I like oddball bikes. And this choice definitely fits in that category. So I am very interested to hear what other people will choose. So please leave your choice below. 
And if you leave it within the first 72 hours of me posting this video, you'll automatically be entered in the giveaway. So thank you again for watching my videos, and especially if you're a subscriber. Good luck if you choose to enter, and hopefully I will catch you in the next video when I pick the winners.